a plea for Karachi. I roshan ara batul. It does not matter how deep the sea is, as it cannot contain our sorrows. This came to his mind while he watched the sea, kneeling for a long time on his knees at the shore, trying to soothe his heart burning with sorrow. Darkness, like the black hair of a woman, enveloped the whole of Karachi. The moon played hide and seek with the wandering clouds in the sky. It is the same moon which pleases. It changes the negative moods of people into positive thoughts and cools down their temperaments. It is the moon that always plays with the waves of the sea and soothes the hearts of the people. But unfortunately, now it was adding to his adding to his agony. He pulled at his hair in despair, but his eyes would not shed a single tear. He thought himself to be all alone and helpless in the presence of so many people. His eyes and ears were unable to see or hear the laughter of the people around him. He was only thinking of the innocent face that appeared in the window of his mind. The image asked, "Why did I lose my life?" Coming to Karachi was Aslam's dream. Before that, Aslam and Zishan were living a life of tranquility. But Aslam was not happy with his poor status. He was responsible for getting his older sister married off. One day while he was sitting with his mother, he said, "Why shouldn't I go to Karachi to earn a livelihood like everyone else?" they go and come back after earning a handsome amount hearing these words his mother cried no my child how can you go to karachi innocent people are killed by criminals there nearly every day just forget about it we are happy and content with what we have our village is a paradise for us so kindly drop your idea of going to karachi where people are killed every other day she spoke in a trembling and weak voice with tears in her eyes But Aslam was no longer a child afraid afraid of his mother's frightening words. He said, "Mother, everybody is traveling to and from Karachi." Looking at his mother's sad face, he hugged her tightly and consoled her. Zishan had also asked him to drop the idea of going to Karachi and told him to just continue doing what he was doing with dignity and respect. There was nothing more that they wanted from him. But Aslam and Zishan did leave their village and reached the city of lights. as karachi is called they worked in a factory for a year aslam's sister finally got married then his mother dreamt of getting aslam married off but uh, aslam was still trying to earn a little more in order to arrange a better house for his mother he did not want to go back he ended up losing his life one evening on his way home due to a terrorist bomb blast it was his last day in karachi rishan looked at karachi's lights and the sea with all the noise around him he prayed to god may god bless the people of karachi with enlightened minds and open hearts as bright as the lights of karachi and as vast as the sea around it so that they can accommodate and accept others wholeheartedly and not steal the lives of those who live here to support their families and are the breadwinners for their families may the latter be able to return the gift of sheltering the homeless